So I think now we've connected with these lovely juicy fire element and meridians, let's come to point of the week. Ah, thank you, Basti. That's great. So Basti's going to get the slide up um, for me. And we're going to do point of the week. And it's the beginning of the small intestine channel. And so the heart starts on the body, very close on the torso. So the opposite end where the heart channel finishes, the small intestine channel starts. That's it. I've also got this massive book that Cliff likes to get out for point of the week. So we have small intestine one, which is called the lesser marsh. Not quite sure why, but it's got a nice name. And it's right on the edge of the nail bend. I'll read from the book. The location is on the dorsal aspect of the little finger at the junction of lines drawn along the ulnar border of the nail and the base of the nail. So, and it's slightly in, so as you can see on the picture, so on the finger there and on the outside part of the nail base. So we can gently press this, allowing the shoulders and elbows to relax. You can allow your hands to rest in your lap and we're going to gently press this area here. This also says, as, as well as the name Lesser um, Marsh, it's called the Jing Well, and apparently is the metal point of the small intestine channel, which I guess connects greatly with the upper burner, connecting in with the lungs. And even though it's right on the end of your little finger, it has a really lovely connection into the chest. So it's really great for headaches, dizziness, um, red eye, uh, nosebleeds, tinnitus, throat uh, pain, um, stiffness of the tongue. So even though it's very, very far away, it's amazing at connecting all of these parts of your body and allowing some key and space in these areas. It's great for stiff neck and shoulders and upper arm, also pain in the elbow. So let's swap to the other, other hand. Um, I think on the, oh yes, on the slide it says fever and loss of consciousness. And I think, have I got it right there, Bassi, that some places would bite the end of the little finger on somebody who's unconscious to help revive them again. So Absolutely, yeah. It's a great one. Maybe don't bite um, the end of your little finger if you're, if you're very much awake and conscious, but it's a good point to know there. So pressing that area here. Lovely. But yeah, it's a really lovely one to press and to open the um, channel in the body really nice to connect to the lungs and um, breath work as well and I like this one too because you know if you're out and about shopping or um, or out in the city and you you don't want to do some kind of pressing on your face to get connected and allow everything to relax this one's nice and um, discreet you can hold your hands and Give your little finger a lovely squeeze. Great. So I think we're doing all right on time. Lovely. So that's the beginning of the small intestine channel. And um, later, Cliff will take you through the rest of the channel that come all the way up. Hopefully, I'll come to the ones on the face that we've pressed this morning as well.